Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome um, to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be winding up on the 2017 May-June IGCC ICT Paper 2.1, a section on data manipulation. In the last video, we were looking at step number 27 and then in this video, we will uh, do step 28, 29 and step 30 um, to wind up. So this is actually um, um, a part of theory work, so to say, um, and um, also just um, about the evaluation of um, the um, the um, the database that we just created uh, earlier on, and also about the table that uh, rather the, the the form that we have here uh, on step number 30. Okay, so let's go ahead with step number 28. Data in the gender field is encoded displaying M for male and F for female. In your own words, give two reasons for encoding data and enter your answers in your evidence document. Okay, so um, remember in the previous video, we did create a validation rule um, where um, um, the user was supposed to enter M represent male and female. Um, um, to enter F, uh, okay, um, and then um, we did state um, um, also some validation text. Um, suppose the user um, did not enter the correct um, required data, and we give them some error message of some kind. Okay, now we are being asked to evaluate or rather to uh, give um, reasons um, why we had to use male and F um, instead of using. Um, the word male and um, uh, female. So why did we, why did we use M for male and why did you use F for female? Okay, so let's go ahead and open our uh, evidence document and um, write that evaluation. So give two reasons. Okay, so um, one of the reasons for using um, encoded text is that um, it saves space. Okay, so saves. Um, to uh, encode, let's just say encoding data um, helps to save memory overall. Okay. Other reasons could be that it also acts um, as a security measure. Okay. Um, in that data intercepted, so when you intercept um, data. It won't make sense. Will not um, data intercepted will not make sense. So you don't know uh, what F is, what male, uh, M is, unless you figure out. Um, okay. So the other thing, it also um, reduces um, the likelihood. Um, okay. Let's just say it, it also reduces um, um, on the number of entry data entry errors okay because somebody doesn't have to type mail they may type something else and but with just a letter um, um, M I mean it's very easy so that reduces data entry errors um, and of course there are other reasons um, that you can put but for the sake of time let me just end there and go to step number 29 okay so step 29 um, it says the telephone number of each student will be added in a new field. Identify the most appropriate data type for this field and in your own words give a reason for your choice and enter your answer in evidence document. So this is on step 29. So let's go back here. So we've been told that um, we could have um, a, a new field called telephone number or something or telephone and it will be holding um, the telephone numbers for um, the students and the like so what we need to do is to identify the data type for the students so I will identify the data type as a string so that let's say the data type will be string okay not string <laughs> yeah it will be text or alphanumeric if you want um, string we use it um, mainly for um, for different programs um, that data what is that for program coding um, for the computer science guys they would call it as a string but um, you guys in ICT you call it as alphanumeric and the like so the data type would be text or um, alphanumeric and the reason um, um, this is because the data or the the telephone number 
can have other characters such as the plus symbol the plus symbol in the country code also you could you could um, um, say that um, um, the field will not be used for calculation okay for calculation the field will not be used for calculation also you can say um, even though this is not so important but you can also um, say that um, the, the you won't have restriction on how many characters for the um, for the um, telephone number that you're going to enter okay so I think these two are adequate enough so let's go to uh, step number 30 so step 30 says um, that a form has been created to enter data in the student's table evaluate in your own ways the gender and payment type fields on this form and so we are evaluating this section um, we are evaluating this section and also um, this other section so this this section and um, evaluating also the payment type so let's start with this one already you can see um, with the gender that um, um, we have one extra radio button and we don't know what it is for so either we remove this one or we make a comment about this radio button so we can come here and type a comment on step 30 and say we should remove um, the extra um, radio button or comment out instruction for it okay um, then we can also if you come back on the same um, um, we can also talk about what is M what is F I mean gender we know that but at least we can make this elaborative um, so to say so we can say we can uh, can also make the M to, and um, F to be um, male and female respectively okay I mean here we are not saving this in the database so we do not care if we're not interested in um, in the word male or the word female but we want the the um, the one who is filling out this form to actually know that hey what is supposed to select here selecting for male or selecting for female okay um, all right so the next one is um, um, I think we can do the evaluation for the other one as well um, let's do the evaluation for this one we can also think about this one look at the alignment for this one everything is laid out nicely but this one the alignment is not good also the text that has been used is kind of a small text compared to these other ones so there's inconsistency in the font size and also the layout so um, we can uh, do that so we can um, we can improve um, on the font size of the pay type of um, the pay type payment type okay by making it slightly larger and also aligning it aligning it um, um, straight to the other text okay so that is the text like the other text it should be um, the layout should be proper okay so I think this um, would do for now um, the other things that you can look at is maybe the size of um, the size of um, the, the text food remember the payment type is just supposed to be um, um, either check or whatever cash and stuff like that so this is too long a text field to put that so we can um, we can also just say um, we can also reduce on the um, the field size or the text box size size um, and just also and, and consider maybe consider using things like drop-down menu 
okay drop down menu or combo box also known as drop down menu or combo box okay so this 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 um, kind of makes you just select the um, the um, you select the payment type from the list of existing payment types okay I think I'll end here for um, for this video. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, watching this uh, video. Um, in the next um, uh, videos, I will be going to look at the section on mail image, and um, um, then we'll have a section on presentation. And yeah, presentation should be the last one. So I'm hoping that I can um, finish recording these videos before um, um, your exams um, uh, next week, and um, we'll see if I can manage also to do videos on paper two too. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and um, share my videos uh, with your friends. All right, so thank you so much.